drive, folks. You got to see this one. An intruder breaks into a home, but he ends up in the hospital after a young girl grabs a gun and shoots. This is a wild one. It happened in Bryan County Wednesday morning. The 12 year old girl was home alone when the man broke in. New at 6, News 9's Chris McKinnon joins us with her story. Chris. Christina and Kelly, the 12 year old, told police she heard the man ring the front doorbell. When she didn't answer the door, he went around to the back and kicked open their back door. That's when she called her mom, who told her to get the family gun, hide in a closet, and call 911. Okay, I have a deputy in route. I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay, please. I think they're in the house. Knowing her daughter was in danger, Deborah St. Clair raced home from work. I drove home at a really fast pace to try to get to her, and when I got here, the police were already here, and they had the um, suspect. That's because St. Clair's daughter shot the intruder as he made his way through the house. Okay, all right, all right, I understand. Do you still have your mom's gun there? Yes, I do. I have it in my hands. And then what we understand right now is he was actually turning the doorknob when she fired through the door. The bullet hit the intruder and he took off, but he only made it a short ways down the road. Uh, he was sitting down, the, the policeman had had him apprehended at the end of the block, and uh, all I saw was some blood coming down his back. I'm not exactly sure where his injury was. Uh, but there was some there was some blood there. She's a proud mom who's thankful it ended the way it did, knowing her daughter is safe. She's she's amazing, and um, I think she is. I, I think she's incredible, and I just haven't been able to stop hugging her and kissing her and telling her how much I love her. Authorities identified the suspect as 32-year-old Stacy Jones. The undersheriff in Bryan County says Jones was airlifted to a Texas hospital, but this afternoon he was released from that hospital and booked into the Bryan County Jail. Chris McKinnon, News 9. All right, we've learned a little bit more information, too. Jones was also arrested back in September of 2011 for allegedly abducting a 17-year-old girl with a diminished mental capacity. The undersheriff says this family does not know that intruder. Wow.